What's up, guys? I got a call about a, uh, from a guy that says he's got musky. And today's the day they're they're emptying the pond or something like that, so I can come get them. Uh, driving across Nebraska, jumped out of deer stand, and now I am going to, after some tiger musky. So that should be pretty inter interesting. I think they're 10 plus inches, so we'll see what we get. I'm getting two of them. Might just do a catch and cook on the other one here later on, like next spring or something. We'll see how they do. So, uh, I'll see if I can do some filming when I get there. If not, you will see me when I get back to the pond with the muskie. Stay tuned. Well, boys, we went and got the fish. It was fast. I literally backed up to a shed. He threw water in, and the fish were in, and I was out of there. <laughs> it's like fast, fast drive, fast drive through for fish. I sure hope they're not floating. Find out. They are not. Look at that. Big boy right there. He's not really big, but he's a cute son of a bitch. Let's see what if this one's floating. Nope. Look at him. Look at him. Oh god. Oh god, yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We're gonna get this one into here and then we'll carry this over to the pond. I better go get a net. Ooh, that water's cold. Okay, so I, I filled up a fish tank, one of my kids' old fish tanks, so we can kind of get a look at them. <clears throat> so we'll put them in there for a minute, and then I'll put them in the pond. This is just water, this water straight out of my pond. That's how clear it is. This is what we got done. Nothing really. Uh, I got some tin in here. I think, I don't know if I showed you that or not. It is really windy, but got some tin. I, I gotta, now I'm gonna put tin on the inside, galvanized, and then that's gonna be a TV, and that's gonna be, uh, it's, it's almost winter time, so not much going on. Water's clear, hard to tell with all the ripples. Everybody's on the bottom. Filters are running strong. Not much has changed. Uh, she's clear as clear as she's gonna get. So let's get these guys in the pond, shall we? It's pretty sweet. skinny they are that's wicked gone like a rocket <laughs> well guys I got a lot of plans for the pond for content wise and just because I enjoy aggressive fish uh, minnow traps i'm gonna do like a trap line with just minnow traps and we're gonna trap food for these guys it's gonna be hard to feed musky uh and bass we're probably gonna catch one more big bass we'll have two big bass maybe we'll see how the musky do 
if I can get the muskie to be like the bass and come right up to you and follow you around, it's going to be pretty awesome. So we'll do videos about getting bait, hand feeding. I got to build a big bait tank for to keep the excess bait in there so they're not just. I don't want to just throw a hundred goldfish in there and they eat all hundred of them in one shot. So right now they're small, plenty of minnows, plenty of goldfish, lots of baby bluegill. There's plenty to eat over winter. I am going to go out and catch bluegills, uh, small sunfish I should say like this. I know a pond, throw a throw net right now would be a good time to throw a net. And we're going to get some more bait in here for the overwinter them and see how much they grow. They are 13 inches right now. So hopefully they grow. Uh, two footers would be pretty sweet, but it is really windy and everything looks dead. It's winter time, it's trapping season, but this guy uh, only deals with pike and muskie in November. So, and probably walleye, I didn't ask about walleye. I don't, I'm not really interested in walleye, but so that's why we're doing it right now. If any of you guys are wondering like, hey, why in the heck are you playing with muskies in November, but that's because that's the only time I could get them. I told you it's gonna get pike or musky and look what we got. We got two, we might narrow it down to one at some point, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I don't know if I can handle two 30 inch musky or t even two 24 inch musky. It's gonna be, we're literally gonna have to have mouse traps, throw mice in there, everything to feed these suckers, so. <laughs> All right, appreciate you watching guys. Uh, Stay tuned for the next video.